Global Marketing Strategy, Mark 7018, Lecture 1, The Decision Whether to Internationalize. From Home Office to Top Global Brands. We start by taking a look at three global brands that started in a home office or a garage. Apple, Google and Amazon focused on creating products and services that customers use globally. These companies focused on local markets and then expanded their business globally. We can learn to build global brands from understanding the core business values of these businesses. Take a look at the Brand Z link for a detailed view of the infographic. Global Brands in 2019 Take a look at this infographic and the following interbrand links. These are the top 100 global brands in 2019. Are there any surprises? Global Brands in 2018 do you notice any changes in the list of global brands from 2018 to 2019? Global brands in 2017. Do you notice any changes in the list of global brands from 2017 to 2018 and 2019? Global brands in 2016. Please copy or click on the following links below for further information. Top 100 Global Brands in 2020 Predictions What are your predictions for the Top 100 Global Brands in 2020? What brands will improve their rankings and which brands will drop off the list? Whether to internationalize Solberg's Taking the Global Marketing Concept Further EPRG Framework Global Marketing means finding and satisfying global customer needs better than the competition and being able to coordinate marketing activities within the constraints of the global environment. The worldview of a firm's business activities can be described according to the EPRG framework. E Ethnocentric, home country superior, headquarters front and center, extends its way of doing things to foreign affiliates, controls highly centralized. Polycentric or multi-domestic, each country is unique and requires specialization. Different conditions for production and marketing in different locations adapts accordingly. Control, highly decentralized. Regiocentric, the world consists of regions, Europe, Asia, Middle East. Marketing program, integrated and coordinated within regions but not across them. Geocentric, global, the world is getting smaller and smaller. The firm may offer global product concepts, but with local adaptation. Think global, act local. Consider how these factors influence our decision to internationalize and take our businesses globally. Global Marketing Definition Global Marketing The firm's commitment to coordinate the marketing activities across national boundaries in order to find and satisfy global customer needs better than the competition. Global marketing definition. So we can expand our earlier definition and broaden out the meaning of global marketing. This means the firm must be able to develop a global marketing strategy, taking into account similarities and differences between markets. Exploit the knowledge of the headquarters through worldwide diffusion and adaptation. Transfer knowledge and best practices from any of its markets and use them where appropriate in other international markets. Localization. The two extremes in global marketing, globalization and localization, can be combined into the globalization framework. Organizations following the strategy coordinate their efforts, ensuring local flexibility with exploiting the benefits of global integration and efficiencies, as well as ensuring worldwide diffusion of innovation. Globalization and standardization of your product or service is the most cost-effective global marketing strategy for a company, however, not always possible. Localization and differentiation or adaptation is the most likely global marketing strategy scenario, however, comes at a great cost to the company when considering global expansion.
Consider how these factors influence our decision to internationalize and take our business globally. Examples of same product, different packaging, different message. Examples of a product and brand that has been adapted to local markets. Localization and differentiation or adaptation is the most likely global marketing strategy scenario. However, comes at a great cost to the company when considering global expansion. Apple iPhone X, example of standardized product. Globalization and standardization of your product or service is the most cost-effective global marketing strategy for a company. However, not always possible. Apple iPhone X, example of a standardized product, the operating system or OS X can be used all over the world with the user changing the language and time zone. Big Mac working time needed. The Big Mac index is a useful tool illustrating the difficulties global marketings have in trying to achieve a consistent pricing strategy around the world. Consider how pricing strategy affordability of your product, service, and other factors could influence our decision to internationalize and take our business globally. Learning and knowledge transfer in global markets. This can be illustrated as shown in the next slide. Globalization increasingly important to organizations, key to manage the hub of global knowledge. Continuous learning should be practiced from experience. Keep track of valuable capabilities and apply what is learned in one market to another. Challenges involved in transferring knowledge across borders. The type of knowledge that is strategic for an organization varies across, according to business context. Consider how learning and knowledge transfer factors influence our decision to internationalize and take our business globally. Global communications, cross-border knowledge and learning transfer. This flowchart diagram illustrates the importance of establishing a structure of communications with our global markets. Our global marketing strategy is reliant on constant feedback and two-way communications with our global operations. Globalization, increasingly important to organizations, key to manage the hub of global knowledge. Continuous learning should be practiced from experience. Keep track of valuable capabilities and, and apply what is learned in one market to another. Challenges involved in transferring knowledge across borders. The type of knowledge that is strategic for an organization varies according to business context. Motors for internationalization, not just about the money. Internationalization, when a firm expands its research and development production, selling and other business activities into international markets. Large firms tend towards an ongoing process of foreign expansion projects. SMEs, internationalization ventures are distinct and individual. Fundamental reason, make money, usually a mixture of factors, both reactive and proactive. Consider these factors could influence our decision to internationalize and take our business globally. Motors for internationalization, not just about revenue, social responsibility. Proactive, stimuli to attempt st strategy change based on exploiting new competences or market possibilities. Reactive, firm reacts to pressure or threats in its home market or in foreign markets and adjusts passively. Consider how socially responsible factors could influence our decision to internationalize and take our business globally. Motives for internationalization. Proactive, profits and growth goals, managerial urge, technology competence, foreign market opportunities, economies of scale, tax benefits. Reactive, competitive pressures, domestic markets, overproduction, Unsolicited foreign orders, extended sales of seasonal products, proximity to international customers. The global marketing environment, environmental influences, PESTEL. 
Understanding the complexities of the exogenous environment that is beyond the company's control. However, political, economic, social, technology and legal factors can have an impact on business that plan to expand into global markets. Therefore, it is imperative that we investigate the pestle's impact on our business. This applies to the countries we are considering entering into these barriers to entry could affect our decisions and will possibly make the decision to internationalize not feasible. In our assignment one, we will need to identify and analyze how these pestle factors influence our decision to internationalize and take our business globally. Political environment, pestle. The political environment refers to any national or international political factor affecting the organization's operations or its decision making. Politics is linked to a government's attitude to business and the freedom within which it allows firms to operate. Unstable political regimes expose foreign businesses to a number of risks not faced at home. The political arena is the most volatile area of international marketing. Will these political factors influence our decision to internationalize and take our business globally? Political environment risk, PESTEL. The types of action that governments may take fall into three main op areas. Operational restrictions could be exchange controls, employment policies, instance on locally shared ownership and particular product requirements. Discriminatory restrictions tend to be imposed on foreign firms and sometimes from a particular country. For example, USA imposed import quotas on Japan in protest of non-tariff barriers. Bans on Libya and Iran also in place. Embargoes. Physical actions. Direct government interventions such as confiscation, a forced takeover by the government, expropriation and nationalization. Will these political pestle factors influence our decision to internationalize and take our business globally? Economic environment. Pestle. Considerations. Varying economic conditions, levels of economic development, and GNP per capita. Disparities of income set challenges for companies in international markets. Divergent levels of economic development around the world make it difficult to form a cohesive strategy, particularly in pricing. Challenges based on developed economies, emerging economies, brick, less developed countries, each with a distinct economic environment. Disparities of income set challenges for companies in international markets. The 50 million richest people share the same wealth as the poorest 30 million. Will these economic factors influence our decision to internationalize and take our business globally? Social-cultural environment, PESTEL. Social and cultural factors influence all aspects of consumer and buyer behavior, language, manners and customs, technology and material culture, social institutions, education, values and attitudes, aesthetics, religion. Will these pestle factors influence our decision to internationalize and take our business globally? Legal environment, pestle. Local domestic laws, these are all different and vary country by country. Use local and international legal experts to understand separate legal systems and laws relevant to each market. International law. A number of different laws covering piracy, hijacking, international conventions and agreements, including IMF and WTO agreements and treaties, patents, trademarks, legislation, seven harmonizations of legal systems. Domestic law and home country. Export controls limit the free export of certain goods and services to particular marketplaces. Duty of the organization to act and abide by its international and national laws in all activities, whether domestic or international. Nestle attempted to stop the sale of lifesavers by Kraft in the EU to protect the polo brand. Other issues include safety regulations in some countries do not comply with others in other countries. Do such laws protect or restrict? Legal systems vary in content and interpretation. Companies are bound by the laws of the host country and are and 
by the growing body of international law, affects many aspects of the marketing strategy, for example, advertising, packaging. The legal environment in international markets more complex than domestic markets due to three dimensions, local domestic law, international law, and domestic law and firms' home base. Will these legal factors influence our decision to internationalize and take our business globally?